Nazir Horton was arrested two weeks ago for violating his parole, but the courts let him go the next morning. Last week, another judge issued a warrant for his arrest when he blew off a court date. And court records show he was in court Monday morning, eight hours before the murder and shootings. That's why the head of major crimes at RPD was fired up when he met Chief Investigative Reporter Berkeley Breen today. The head of major crimes believes that one of the people they arrested in the Hazelwood shooting should have been in jail. And here's why. You got a guy that's 21 years old. He's on parole. He already has two prior felony convictions. Do you know how hard it is to get two felony convictions in New York State in a matter of three years? It's not easy, okay? A little over two weeks before he murdered an innocent 19-year-old on Hazelwood. He was locked up by his parole officers on a stolen moped. Shows up in court for his parole hearing in county court. What happens? Judge lets him out. Captain Frank Umbrino does not know if the judge was required to release Nazir Horton or if it was a judgment call. We do know there was a bench warrant filed against Horton last week. I talked to Umbrino about the number of illegal guns in the city and the number of guns we saw at the mass shooting at Maplewood Park two weeks ago. I was struck by how many guns I saw. Well, you know what? Drawn guns. And I'm wondering if that surprised you. No, it doesn't surprise me at all. Certainly a lot more common now to have multiple weapons involved in an incident than it was 10 years ago. And why do you think that's the case? Because people aren't afraid to carry a gun today. You know, you go back 5, 10 years, you didn't want to get caught with a gun because you knew that you were going to be in jail and you were going to end up in prison. And today you've got guys getting locked up with guns that are getting arraigned and they're let out the next day. So there is no fear of getting caught with a gun today. Hands down, that's the number one reason why there's so many guns everywhere. And the solution is? You get caught with a gun, you get held. At the Public Safety Building, Berkeley Green News 10, NBC.